Hello and welcome to Mahika Tutorials. In previous tutorial, we have seen that when a method is called and compiler fails to find a method with exact match of parameters, then it performs some internal type promotions. In this tutorial, we are going to see how ambiguity can occur in case of method overloading. So we will take an example and then we will discuss how ambiguity can occur and how it can be resolved. So we will create a class with the main method. Now here we are going to overload some method. First method will have first integer parameter and second of long type. Okay. Now we will define this. We will add a message to print the sum. So we will give here sum of int and long. And here we will perform addition. Okay. Now what we are going to do, we are going to overload this sum method by changing the type of parameters. The first parameter here will be of long and second will be of int type. Okay. And here we will again change the message sum of long and int. Fine. Now so far we do not have any error in our code because we have changed the parameter list. We are overloading the sum method with different parameter list. Now we are trying to call the sum method. So we need to first instantiate our class. Since main is static, it cannot invoke non-static method directly. Now with this instance, we are trying to call the sum method. Okay. Now here let's suppose if we pass 10 and 20. Okay, now see here we are getting error and what is the error? The method sum in comma long is ambiguous for the type A because here we at both the places we are passing integer value and we have some method but first sum method has first parameter int and second parameter is long and second has first parameter as sorry first parameter is long and second parameter as int now we know that int can be promoted to long so these parameters can be promoted to this type of method definition as well as this as so this is an ambiguous condition for compiler that which sum method should be called because each has one int and one long parameter. So this is how ambiguity can occur when you are overloading the methods. Now to resolve this ambiguity, what we need to do, we need to provide one of the parameter as long. Let's suppose if we add L over here, it says that this first parameter is of long type. So now ambiguity has been resolved and when we execute our code now, it will lead to the invocation of this method where the first parameter is of long type. Let's execute this and check our output. See, we are getting sum of long and int. Okay, But if we remove L from here and then we add L here, then it will lead to the invocation of first sum method where the second parameter is of long type. We can execute this. See, sum of int and long. But if we do not use L in either of the parameters, then it will be ambiguous for compiler to identify which sum method is to be executed because in both cases, int can be promoted to long. So, we have seen different cases with the method overloading we have seen how we can achieve overloading by changing the number of parameters how we can achieve the method overloading by changing the types of parameters then we have seen how we can overload the main method and we have seen internal type promotions and finally this was the last thing related to method overloading which was how ambiguity can occur in case of method overloading so thank you for watching this tutorial and please subscribe the channel if you haven't done it yet.